Tony Delaney was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when she was only 17 years old. For years, for years I had terrible stomach pains. I mean, nights I was balled over in pain and didn't want to eat and um, I got sick. I was getting sick for no reason and my parents finally were like, we've got to figure out what's wrong. Cause She'd never heard of Crohn's and then Tiffany began doing something now thought to make the disease worse. I smoked really when I went to college, so I was 18. Um, smoked for about 10 years. Mercy Medical Center Dr. Richard Desi says smokers are twice as likely as non-smokers to develop Crohn's plus. It's also shown that with Crohn's disease, it can, smoking can cause flares and contribute to flares and also recurrence of disease, especially after you've had surgery. Why? The theory is it's a nicotine effect or from smoke byproducts, but there is good news for those who quit. If you quit smoking, um, about a year out after you've quit smoking, you put you back into a category as if you had never smoked uh, before in terms of disease recurrence, flares, severity of disease. And Tiffany's first major flare was when she was 25 and smoking and had to be hospitalized for four days. Quitting smoking, as Dr. Desi has said before in the past, you know, it's not good for anybody to smoke, and especially if you're a Crohn's patient. I mean, it, many things you can do to try to alleviate pain, and that should always be the first thing.